NASA finds liquid water on Mars. Does water on Mars mean life on Mars? Is it going to be a planet ruled by aliens or a second home to humans? Many questions arise when we hear that for decades, Mars has water. But what did the 2021 research of NASA bring us regarding water on Mars? We know you're curious now. To know every bit of research on liquid water on Mars, then keep on watching. Hey fellows, welcome back to another video. Hoping you are doing well. Today, we came up with a topic, NASA finds liquid water on Mars. So, water has been practical as ice on Mars. However, it likewise exists in little amounts as fume in the atmosphere. What was believed to be low volume fluid saline solutions in shallow Martian soil, additionally called intermittent slat line, might be grains of steaming sand and residue slipping downhill to make dim streaks. The only spot where water ice is apparent at the surface is at the North Polar Ice Cap. Abundant water ice is additionally present underneath the long-lasting carbon dioxide ice cap at the Martian South Pole and in the shallow subsurface at more calm conditions. More than 5 million cubic kilometers of ice have been identified close to the outside of Mars, which is enough to cover the entire planet to a profundity of 35 meters, which is approximately 115 feet. Even more, ice is probably going to be secured away from the profound subsurface. Some liquid water might occur on the Martian surface today. However, no huge standing collections of liquid water exist on the Mars surface. This is because the air pressure is their midpoints only 610 pascals, a figure marginally beneath the fume pressing factor of water at its triple point. Under normal Martian conditions, warming water on the Martian surface would make important changes, including turning the solid water into vapor, Alternatively, cooling water would store significant progress straightforwardly from vapor to solid. About 3.8 billion years prior, it can be a possibility that Mars had a denser climate and higher surface temperatures, which permitted tremendous measures of vapor water on the surface, potentially including a huge ocean that might have covered 33% of the planet. Water has likewise evidently streamed across the surface for brief periods at different stretches all the more as of late in Mars history. Aeolus Palace in Gale Crater, investigated by the Curiosity Wanderer, is the geographical remaining parts of an antiquated freshwater lake that might have been a friendly climate for microbial life. By looking at the science of Martian meteorites of different decades, by utilizing NASA's Curiosity Meanderer to examine old shakes and measure the momentum of Martian climate, Researchers find how much surface water is available at different focuses since Mars's commencement. They imagine that during its soonest ages, if all that water were in the liquid structure, it could cover the entire planet in a shallow sea 150 to 800 feet down. Many lines of proof show that water ice is bountiful on Mars and it plays had a critical influence on the planet's geologic history. The present day stock of water on Mars can be assessed from space apparatus pictures, distant detecting strategies, and surface examinations from landers and rovers. Geologic proof of past water incorporates gigantic outpouring channels cut by floods, old stream valley networks, deltas, and lake beds, and the location of rocks and minerals on a superficial level that could just have been framed in liquid water. Numerous geomorphic highlights recommend the presence of ground ice, permafrost, and the development of ice and glacial masses, both in the new past and the present. Albeit the outside of Mars was occasionally wet and may have been friendly to microbial life billions of years ago, the current climate at the surface is dry and sub-freezing. Likewise, Mars comes up short on the thick environment, ozone layer, and attractive field, permitting sun-based and infinite radiation to strike the surface unobstructed. The harmful impacts of ionizing radiation on cell structure is another of the great restricting components on the endurance of life on the surface. Therefore, the best expected areas for finding life on Mars might be in the subsurface environments. Large measures of underground ice have been found on Mars. The volume of water identified is identical to the volume of water in Lake Superior. In 2018, researchers declared that they found a subglacial lake on Mars. 
It is estimated to be 1.5 kilometers underneath the southern polar ice cap with a level degree of around 20 kilometers. It would be the main known stable assortment of liquid water on Mars. Understanding the degree and circumstance of water on Mars is essential to survey the planet's potential for holding onto life and for giving usable assets to future human investigation. Consequently, Follow the Water was the science subject of NASA's Mars Exploration Program MEP, in the primary decade of the 21st century. NASA and ESA missions, including the 2001 Mars Odyssey, Mars Express, Mars Exploration Rovers MERs, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, and Mars Phoenix Lander have given data about water's bounty and dispersion on Mars. Mars Odyssey, Mars Express, MRO, and Mars Science Lander Curiosity Wanderer are yet working and disclosures keep on being made. In September 2020, Researchers affirm the presence of a few enormous saltwater lakes under the ice in the south polar district of the planet Mars. In March 2021, analysts revealed that the extensive measure of water on old Mars stays on Mars in any case. The new NASA upheld study proposes a huge piece of all that Martian dampness is as yet in the world caught in the outside layer. Atmospheric escape doesn't fully explain the data that we have for how much water actually once existed on Mars, said by Caltech PhD candidate Eva Scheller. Our journey on Mars has been to follow the water as we continued looking for life in the universe and presently we have persuading science that approves what we've since a long time ago suspected, said John Grunsfeld space traveler and partner chairman of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. This is a huge turn of events, as it seems to affirm that water, but briny, is streaming today on the outside of Mars. What do you think water on Mars means? Are there soon going to be living creatures on Mars? Or can it be our second home besides Earth? Share your views in the comments section below. We are anxious to see what you all think about this. If you liked the video, then show your love by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. To get notified every time we upload a new video, then turn on the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Peace.